Good morning, it's Thursday, September the 24th, and you're watching Agoracom Small Cap News TV. I'm your host, Paul Kandakos. Agoracom TV is a daily, fast-paced show, bringing you the best press releases and halts at the open so you can open prop from them and potentially find your next great small cap investment. Folks, I have a great show lined up for you this morning. Have tons of news. I've got two press releases from the Canadian side, five from the U.S. side, and two halts to report on. We've got a lot of news, so let's get down to it. Our lead story comes out of a company called Legend International Holdings. They trade on the bulletin board under the symbol LGDI. They're providing an update to their phosphate project, which includes exploration results from drilling completed so far on their Paradise North deposit. Thus far, we've got results for 45 of 108 drilled RC reverse circulation holes. Uh, there have been a total of 2,264 meters of drilling, which is complete. Now, out of the 45 holes with received results, a total of 33 have significant intercepts of greater than 10% phosphate. So one more time, 33 holes which have intersected significant phosphate of 10% or more. Legend intends to use the drilling results reported to begin developing guidelines for reporting a mineral resource estimate for the deposit, and they expect to have that completed before the end of the year 2009. A little bit about the company, they're working aggressively to develop and mine its phosphate deposits with a phase implementation plan to become one of the world's leading suppliers of phosphate and fertilizer products. They're last at 84 cents. High of a dollar forty-three, low of twenty-six cents. Market cap of one hundred ninety million dollars. And disclaimer time: they are Agoracom's newest client, the newest Agoracom one hundred client. So we'd like to welcome them to the Agoracom family. And as always, make sure you do diligence on any companies that we represent. Now, moving on to our next company, we've got big news from Metanor. They trade on the TSX Venture under the symbol MTO. They're announcing new results from drilling campaign currently underway on their Barry property. Got some big results, hole number 423 intersected almost 10 grams per ton over 33 meters. It's worth repeating almost 10 grams per ton over 33 meters and included within that intersection we've got 13 and a half grams per ton of gold over 22 and a half meters and most of this is at surface it starts at four and a half meters deep companies last at 62 cents high of 65 low of 26 cents and a mark cap of 46 million dollars now let's move over to the u.s side energy focus they trade on the nasdaq under the symbol efoi the company was recently awarded a 3.1 million dollar contract to develop high efficiency solar modules uh, it's a two-year contract with the dupont university of delaware very high efficiency solar cell consortium the company is last at one dollar high of two dollars and sixty nine cents low of fifty cents mark cap of approximately fifteen million dollars moving on to our next company former agoracom client China Advanced Construction Materials Group, they trade on the bulletin board under the symbol CADC. The company announced financial results for the fiscal year ended June 30th, 2009. Some pretty great numbers coming out of this company. We've been pounding the table on how much we love China, and this is one of those companies that you should probably be taking a look at. For the fiscal year ended June 30th, 2009, revenues were $40 million, which is up from $27.5 million in uh, fiscal 08. Gross profit increased by 125% to $15.2 million. Operating income increased to $13.5 million, which represents a 180% increase, while net income was $12.1 million, which exceeded guidance of $9 million, which the company gave out earlier in the year. A little bit about the company. They're a leading producer of advanced construction materials for large-scale commercial, residential, and infrastructure developments. Companies last at $5.00. High of 550, low of one dollar, mark cap of approximately 52 million dollars. Moving on to our next company, it looks like it's another Chinese company. They're called Tianyin Pharmaceutical. They trade on the New York Stock Exchange Amex under the symbol TPI. They're a developer, manufacturer, and supplier of modernized traditional Chinese medicine and generic pharmaceuticals in China. They're announcing their 2009 financial results for the year ended June 30th, 2009. We've got revenues which increased almost 30% to $43 million and net income increased 33% to $7.9 million. Cash flow from operations increased 125% to $8.3 million. And the company reaffirms 2010 guidance. Revenues are expected to exceed $59 million with a net income of at least $10.5 million. Great numbers, nothing to sneeze at. Company is last at $4.13. 
high of 437, low of 68 cents, and a market cap of approximately 68 million dollars. Moving on to our next company, BVR Systems. They trade on the bulletin board under the symbol BVRSF. They've announced that they were awarded a contract valued at approximately $5 million. That's in U.S. dollars for the integration of its air combat maneuvering instrumentation system to an electronic warfare training center for an international customer. It seems like they provide simulators for defense, air defense. Uh, a little bit about the company, their advanced defense training and simulation systems. The company's last at 19 cents, high of 26 cents, low of 5 cents, mark cap of approximately $22 million. Moving on to our next company, Turbosonic Technologies, on the bulletin board, under the symbol TSTA. They're announcing fiscal year results for the year ended June 30th, 2009. Total revenues, $25.5 million, up from $14 million a year ago. Net income of $1.5 million, up from a loss of $662,000 from one year ago. Looks like the company's turning the corner. A little bit about them, they design and market air pollution control technologies to industrial customers worldwide. Their products help companies meet the strictest emission regulations, improve performance, and reduce operating costs. Last at $1.30, high of $1.37, low of $0.20, cents, mark cap of approximately $20 million. Now that we've gotten through the news, we've got two halts to report on. Churchill Energy Inc., they trade on the venture under the symbol CEI, halted pending news. And Kimbari Gold, former Gorecom client, they are pending delisting because their assets were sold to another company. That's a wrap for today's show. Thanks for joining us. Make sure to join us again tomorrow. We've got more great press releases and halts at the open.